Hi and welcome, my name is Julianne Cost and today we're going to take a look at Photoshop CC's ability to link smart objects. So here we can see in Bridge I have a logo and then a bunch of different photographs and I want to put that logo into these photographs. So this first image is a DNG file, I want to open it up, but I want to bypass the Adobe Camera Raw dialog box, so I'm going to double click on it and hold down the Shift key so that it opens directly up into Photoshop. Now, if I go into the file menu, you'll notice that we have a place embedded and a place linked option. If I choose place embedded and I select that logo, you can see that Photoshop will place that. I can then resize it if I want to, and when I tap enter or return, what I have here is an embedded smart object. And I know it's a smart object because over on my layers panel, it has the smart object icon. If I want to edit the contents of that smart object, I can either double click on it on a layers panel or I can click to edit the contents. When I edit the contents, Photoshop will open up this logo in its own window. I can then make my change, save the file, and then close the file. When I close it, it will update it in the master document. However, if we move back to Bridge, you'll notice that the logo here has not been updated. All right, so let's go to Photoshop and I'm going to tap the delete key in order to get rid of that. This time, I'm going to select Place Linked. I'll place the same logo, but this time Photoshop is going to place it as a linked file. And when I tap Enter or Return, we can see that on my Layers panel, there's a new link icon for my smart object, and in the Properties panel, we can actually see the path to that file. Now, if I want to edit the contents here, I can click the Edit Contents option, or I could double click on the thumbnail in the Layers panel. This time, when I toggle on the visibility of this mountain layer, and then use Command S or Control S to save the file and close the file, you'll notice that it's updated here in this document, and when I return to Bridge, it has also been updated in the original, because remember, this is not an embedded smart object, this is now a linked smart object. If we return back to Photoshop and I save this file, we'll go ahead and save it as with the logo, click Save, and then if I close this file, we can see that newly saved file here as well. Now, let's go ahead and select this image and open it in Photoshop. Once again, I'll hold down the Shift key in order to bypass the Camera Raw dialog box. And then we'll go back to Bridge in order to place the logo as a linked document. Now, if I were to go into the File menu and choose Place and place this into Photoshop, I would get an embedded smart object. So I don't want to do that. And in fact, if I right mouse click and choose to place the file into Photoshop, that will also get me an embedded smart object. So in order to get a linked smart object from Bridge, I'm going to hold down the Option key on the Mac or the Alt key on Windows, and I will drag and drop it on top of that open document in Photoshop. Now when I tap Return or Enter, Photoshop will place that as a linked smart object as opposed to an embedded one. Now let's go ahead and make some changes to this linked smart object. Again, I will double click on it, and I don't need to see this dialog box, so we'll click Don't Show again. And I'm going to turn on another layer. I'll then save the file using Command S or Control S and close the file. So again, we've updated the linked smart object, and if we return back to Bridge, you can see that the original has been updated. So let's go ahead and save this file in Photoshop. I'll go ahead and save it with the logo, and click Save, and then return back to Bridge. You'll notice in Bridge that this image has the new logo, but this one doesn't. So let's go ahead and double click on it in order to open it. So the important thing to know is that we don't do an auto update. You actually have to go in and manually update any of these linked files because you might not want them to be updated. So what will happen is if the linked file has been updated in some other way, when you open up a file that has a linked smart object, you will get this warning dialog. If I click on that, you'll notice that I can update the modified content in which case Photoshop will go out and reread the linked file 
and update it just as it did there. I could also right mouse click on the layer and choose to update the modified content. In fact, if I had multiple layers that had been updated, I could update all the modified content. And of course, we could also use the menu item under layer smart objects to update all of our modified content if we wanted to. All right, let's return back to Bridge for a moment. I need to show you what's going to happen if you actually lose the link to your document. So here I have another example, and I'll double click on it. In this case, I get a warning when it opens in Photoshop telling me that the linked smart object is missing. And in fact, I actually have thrown it away. Now, if I had only moved it to a different folder, then Photoshop could probably find it. If I had simply renamed it, then I could click the Choose button and navigate in order to find it. But for now, I'll click OK so that we can see that in the Properties panel, as well as in the Layers panel, I have the red question mark telling me that the link to that smart object is missing. Now, I can still do certain things with this file because when you have a linked smart object, Photoshop actually creates kind of a flattened version of that layer. So if I needed to save this out as a JPEG file or do a save for web, I could do that. But I'm not going to be able to modify this linked smart object. So I couldn't do things like free transform it or add a filter to it. All right, if I do right mouse click and I want to replace the contents, if I have a different logo, I can do that. And I can also resolve this broken link if I want to. If I happen to know that maybe I do have another copy of the logo, I'll select that and click Place. And now we can see that those warnings disappear. One of the things that you might want to consider if you are using linked smart objects and you're handing off your documents to other people, you might want to consider embedding that linked smart object. So let's return back to this image for a moment. And in order to embed this linked smart object, all I need to do is click Embed on the Properties panel. So if you have a linked smart object and you want to embed it, that's very easy to do. You cannot go the other way. So if the smart object is already embedded, there's no way actually to separate it out and make it into its own linked document. Let's actually undo that for a moment. I don't really want to work with an embedded file for a moment because I want to just show you if you are working with a linked smart object and you use Command J on the Layers panel or Control J on Windows in order to make a duplicate of that layer, if we make a change or if we edit the contents of one of these layers, in this case I'll go ahead and toggle back off those two extra layers, and we save that and we close that, you should know that both of those layers are going to be updated. In addition, if we return back to Bridge because they're linked, that also gets updated. If we return back to Photoshop, I'll also point out that we now have the ability under the Layers panel to actually filter your layers based on smart objects. You can see that we can filter based on our linked smart objects versus our embedded smart objects. And we can also quickly filter to see if any of the content has been modified or if any of it is missing. And finally, if you're starting from Lightroom and you're working on the Mac, if you want to open up your image as a linked smart object as opposed to an embedded smart object, you can select that file, drag it over on top of your open Photoshop document, and hold down the Option key. When you hold down the Option key and you drop that, you can see when I tap Return or Enter, it will go ahead and place that as a linked smart object. And there you have it, everything you need to know about linked smart objects in Photoshop CC. I'm Julianne Cost. Thanks for watching.